only seven days earlier, the West Coast lost by 100 points to Fremantle. If you, if you actually run the lens over this, it's unbelievable. And then today, the West Coast Eagles situation gets more bizarre. So Eddie uh, again broke the news last week that Adam Simpson was unlikely to survive. There's a meeting this morning. The West Australian were there with pitchers at the chairman's house. And then one of the more peculiar statements you've ever read this time of year came from the West Coast soon after about the board meeting, where they spoke about, despite the fact that the board met informally, there would be no decisions on senior personnel until after the win next weekend. Clearly, Adam Simpson thinks he's gone. Well, you would, Carrie, I can't, I can't believe the club's acting like when, they, when there's they put reports. Put out a statement now, saying we're not taking the coach. I know, yet. but when there are reports well, yeah, they're they're speaking to Don Pike and Dean, quite odd. <laughs> can you make sense of this for us? Oh, look, if if Adam Simpson survives, I will be the most surprised person in footy. I cannot believe. It. But I mean, I can understand they want to wait till the end of the year. But why you would meet and put out a statement, I don't actually know. I think there's going to be a massive clean out of the entire. Wouldn't club. this be the perfect week if that's the decision they've made? Well, with only he's complicit with, with Shuey and with Hearn, and to celebrate what a great year it has been. Is he on board with last it? home game for the club? I'm not sure. Could they but... still be trying to work out the financial well, arrangements? The money and him agreeing. That would definitely be part yeah. of it. The money would take more time than the decision. Yeah, that's right. Because right. yeah. he's got to agree to it, he's got yeah. leverage. Now, and then complicating it was the win. And this was a cheeky uh, and colourful, fun uh, observation from Adam Simpson after the game. Yeah, yeah, we tried to tank that the last three minutes. It didn't work. I kept on saying kick it the other way and play equalised game. But no, nah, look, it was um, credit to the players. They were really disappointed last week. So to respond the way they did, it's been a heavy couple of weeks and they're yeah, really proud of the players. So this leads us to tanking, and let's call that, for the sake of the argument, the elephant in the room. Now, a few want to put their name to tanking as a, as a conversation point, but these were the two questions that clubs were asking around the competition today, and let's just call it out for what it was. Other clubs were asking, did he do the right thing, not stopping them win the game? And would he have done that if he felt he was going to be the senior coach next year? Do you think a coach has that much so control? That, that were the two... So, first of all, your reaction to that? Well, I'm not sure a coach has that much control to be able to influence the result on game day in the dying stages as much as perhaps what you're thinking. It's not about not trying to win. It's about managing the possibility of hanging on to Harley Reid. So the move was probably Jeremy McGovern to be subbed out. That would have... Five goals to two doesn't happen in the last uh, quarter. Hutch, can I jump in so and he, say... He coached with in, enormous integrity yesterday. They are absolute rubbish questions because last week we're talking about Adam Simpson for not winning the game and, and that's where he's talking about tanking because he didn't have do anything yep. against but the Craig's Bombers. Craig's point is, has something... Um, now, uh, yeah. I'm not saying I'm, I yep. agree can with you. His point is, yeah. he's saying it now because he thinks he's going to lose his job. Yeah. So did he try to win? You, you think that's, that's changed in the last 7, 14 days where he decided that we, we were on Adam Simpson for somehow not winning the game against the Bombers and now we're into him for winning a game of football. No, no, no. Craig's making the point that has he changed his own tune mm. because his own future has changed? He's not going to coach the player anymore, mm. right? So does that, uh, does the temptation to manage the game, is that now gone? Now, That's the question that was being my, asked. My point would be, don't worry, a lot, of people, a lot of people in footy said that to me, not only today, but after the siren went yesterday. And um, I was at the, another footy game yesterday and that conversation was being had by several senior people in footy. It, it, in, impossible to prove. You can't make the allegation. I would also say, though, that Harley Reid seems to have made it pretty clear he's pretty happy to stay in Melbourne and play for North Melbourne. So maybe it was and also um, pretty handy for West Coast to finally get a win after such a dreadful humiliation was, last week. And um, they'll end up recruiting the West Australian It was fantastic coaching player. to win the game. So do you, yeah. th you think the club would be upset with his coaching tactics? to put them in a position to win that game yesterday, the club as a whole? I don't think the club would have been delighted with the win. You know, what no I say, say and Cara, we've yep. debated this for a fair while, like, I, I don't see that many number one draft picks that actually are better than number two or three. No. It's, it's well, just the wrong, whole wrong thing to think about, Hutchie, that oh, I saw players I with, with passion, staff agree. with passion, what a win does, and you might think that was a, a wasted win because they lose Harley Reid, but I look at it, you, we all celebrate yep. number one draft picks, but that's where well, Petrarca and Dusty Martin, it actually doesn't help your club in the end. Winning a game or two does. I get that argument too. So Brisbane that. won in 2015 at the last game and it cost them Weedering, they took Shaki. That You could argue that. Yeah, had a, but a, you a, have to go back eight years first. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but yeah. that's... Yeah. And then North are in the same spot this weekend, right? Because they're looking at pick one and two. They have to lose this weekend. And it's uncomfortable to have that 
conversation out loud, but that's the stone Matthew is cold right. right reality. The karma, the karma buses attack. Any alleged tanker has been attacked by the karma bus. Yeah. Yep. As Melbourne famously yeah. were before before Brisbane, as you said. Yeah, I'd be fairly confident that the Suns win that game this weekend. You yeah. think North will rest a few? No, but they would be... It would hardly be an upset, Craig. They would be doing the wrong thing by their future. What it does do is now. solve the AFL's problem. There can be no priority picks now for North Melbourne. They've got pick one. They possibly get pick two from Mackay. So just put your compensation claim And the academy kit as well. That, that is done. Yeah. You don't need any more than pick one. In